Hello everyone, we are playing some more Starfield on PC through Xbox Game Pass. What is our current mission? Why is it taking us to that area? Sabotage, okay so that's why. Okay, yep, we're gonna go here. And this might be the final... Did you know I used to have an office near the top of Mast? Hmm. How far the mighty have fallen, eh? This might be the final... ...mission for... <laughs> this character won't do that. I can't do it. We're here to help. Hold on, I'm trying to see how this works. I'm curious. Oh! <coughs> Wait a minute, hold on now. Where's that one at? Oh, really? And it just unlocked it. Oh wow, it literally unlocked it for me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I can only do it to certain people. Hey! Hey you! You have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. I have a different ship now, but that's accurate. I don't have a different I ship. <laughs> Tony Bitlow, SSNN Research Intern. Word is the Frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Oh, this is great! Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you! An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for Woo! credible newsworthy information. Everyone knows David Barron, the face and voice of SSNN, if you will. But Nadia is in charge of all the research. All the best stories were written by her. She's... Uh, really something. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. I mean... So he didn't inspect him at all. Jump 
apartment, so things are looking up. Yeah, no, he didn't inspect him at all. Okay, can I, I do it again? Next David Barry. No, I can only do it once. Huh. But I mean, if I want to go ahead and get the perk leveled up so that if I do decide. You got to call if someone's power kept going out. Uh, kill for a cup of coffee right about now. As long as my bag. Yuck. Okay, so I don't have to tell them to do anything. All I have to do is just tell them to just okay. okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. So I just have to use it on them. I don't have to tell them to do anything. How are you holding up? <clears throat> That's pretty cool. That's an easy one to level up. Alright. Even if I don't use it, it's good to know how it levels up that ability. Which I may not ever use it at all. So... So how much money do I have right now? Oh wow, I can maybe get... Maybe get a new ship eventually. Why are you here then? Okay, so that's the front door, and that will get me a uniform or a meeting pass. Where is the other entrance? I have two ways in, and I have to do it unseen the whole way through, basically, if I go the other way. And that way's over here. Yeah, it's over here. But this way will get the civilians out of the way. So I might do this way. Just to get the civilians out of the way. So that I don't accidentally kill anyone. <laughs> no, hold on, can I just go ahead and... No, but I can go ahead and get this one. Okay. Oh, I really want this one. It'd be nice to have. Companions gain... See, that one right there is worth having. I, sp I probably should start investing in this. Negotiation. See, I've not had to do bribery at all. This is for food. Was I don't really need food because I have healing items. Wait, so can, so can honestly remove this and all the food. Because <clears throat> why have food when you have med packs? Like, there's no point in food at all. You can just take all of that waste of data out of the game and save about maybe 10 gigabytes of data. Mm. Okay, maybe not that much. Maybe one gigabyte at most of wasted game data. Good lord. And that's pushing it. Because why have food when you have this stuff? I mean... 
And if you want to heal better, the food does not count towards the one perk that, you know, it doesn't count towards this one. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, why have food? Food is useless. It's a cool concept, but it, it, it's it's useless to me. Can I open this? I can. And they're behind a... Yes, they are. That's where I'm going for that, okay. <clears throat> well, everyone should be out now. Hold on, let me, um... Load this one back up. Before I set off the alarm, because now everything is restricted. All right. Now it's. It still is restricted. Interesting. Okay. So what do I do up there? Roof access. What do I do up to up here? Hmm. How do I get to it from here, though? Oh, I, I, I know how to mine. I know how. Oh, no, I know. I know how. I know how. That's right. Yeah, I know. That's right. Duh. <laughs> that's what this is for. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> well, isn't that? <laughs> okay.
located. All non-essential personnel must evacuate the building. Please find the nearest exit and contact emergency services. <laughs> and we can't kill anyone while we're doing this either, so this will be fun not killing anyone. <laughs> oh no, yeah, there's a gas leak, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I wonder if I can turn it off or not. <laughs> oh no, boy. This is... I wonder if I can turn it off or not now that... I cannot turn it off. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, man. Oh no. This may have been a mistake. No direct path. Oh, you bullcrap game, I swear. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. And we can't kill anyone. <laughs> Do I still have? I don't have that gun anymore. Oh no. Oh no, I might need to go get a gun. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'd like to speak to Anne. I'd be happy to get. <laughs> oh no. And I can't kill anyone. Logan's office shouldn't be terribly <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, um, I mean, uh... I don't really know what else to do besides, um, yeah. Wait, can I manipulate her? Oh, I wonder. No, I can't. <laughs> 
Okay, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> go over there, and then now we're going in. That's what that's for. That's what that's for. I'll need to all go up here. Interesting. No, there's not. <laughs> Another locked computer. Interesting. No, it might be... Nope. It might be... I think I fudged it up. I did fudge it up. <coughs> oh well, it is what it is. Okay, so this one goes on the bottom row. Fair enough. This one can go on either. This one goes on the bottom. Okay. I didn't have my gun out. Mm -mm -mm. I can't get back up. Crap. The game won't let me back up there. I don't know why. Oh, that guy's back too. Crap. Okay. This is not what I wanted, but you know what? We're here. Why not? You know what? We're here. Why not? I'm 
They saw us. Come on. So we got no choice but to go hardball. I may have chosen the wrong way to do this as well, but... <laughs> I don't know where from. I mean, they wanted to, you know, put it into them anyway, so... There's no gas here. Excellent. You know what? Yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> they wanted to end them anyway, so why not end them the right way, right? I mean, come on now. No direct path seen my asshole. Game, come on. Oh my god, come on game. Seriously, I can't even get up there. Are you fucking serious with me right now? Uh, and there's some stuff here. Well. Okay, I want me to go in here, but where to now? Through all this crap in a hand basket. <clears throat> well, we definitely did things wrong, but you know what? I don't care. We got seen, we chose the wrong path. I don't care. <laughs> and I kind of want to go guns blazing anyway, so there's that. So say I got tired of not going gun blazing on, on these. Oh, well, hi. Uh, 
Do I have any dirt, um, anything I can throw at them? I do have a couple of those. Actually, you know what? So it's not whenever I get some more. I can't favor those, really. That's weird. I wonder why. <laughs> You're around here. Find them. A sneak attack! 70 XP from him. Dang, boy, that was worth it. <laughs> I really don't want to go down there, though. <laughs> Well, would you look at that? Oh, I kind of have to go down there, don't I? Okay, well, I see how this is. Where's my way in? I need, I need a way in. Oh, it requires an ID card. Find an ID card. Okay. Where? Oh. Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> Face computer, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Purge. Complete hole. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and you know, wash myself off of all the biohazard chemicals. Score. Deliver evidence to... <laughs> uh, oh no, my... My lung damage is... <laughs> okay, well, I mean, that's fine. Entrance. <laughs> now what happens? Oh, and, and, and no one cares? <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> No one gives a crap in a handbasket. Score. Uh. 
Administrations come and go in the big city, but SSNN is here to stay. Can I help you? <laughs> is that so? Spoken like a true tabloid reporter. What's this so-called story about? <clears throat> All right. I'll take a look. I don't suppose you want to tell me how you got this evidence. Of course. I just hope your source is as reliable as you think they are. Maybe your friend here would care to comment? My colleague has said everything you need to know. But <laughs> on a personal note, I'd like to add that the corporate world is definitely not for me. I see. Is there at least a name I can cite as my source? Why am I not surprised? As long as the evidence is adequate and verifiable, I expect it'll be aired within the hour, if not sooner. Now, Any if you'll hour? excuse me, wow. I obviously have some work to do. I bet whoever came up with bad news travels fast wasn't taking interstellar distances into account. Well, the bosses are going to be mad, but you know what? I wanted the XP. I wanted the XP, so you can't blame me for this one. Well, I mean, they Let's, will, uh, but... Stay away from Ebside. The locals there don't exactly appreciate the tourists. Be careful if you run into What time is it, I wonder? Okay, cool. So I'm starting to get hungry. Howdy, boys. How are you doing? I kind of want some, um... So I kind of want gun blazing on the last one, but you know what? It wasn't my fault. It was theirs. Going the gas route was a mistake. Now we know. <coughs> Squeeze me. <coughs> and the bosses are going to be upset, but you know what? I don't give a crap. I don't give a crap. I really don't give a crap. It's just a video game. And you think I care? No, I don't. I can't use it right now. I believe you were specifically told that we did not want a body count on this assignment. A poor excuse. All the tools at your disposal, and yet here we are. <coughs> I hope you at least attempted to use the internal neuroamp. And yet not useful enough to avoid a body count? Still, it's good to know the applications are proving themselves. So now it's just a waiting game for SSNN to break the news. Once the story airs, we have another board meeting scheduled to decide how to handle Infinity. Go ahead, Maeve. The SSNN broadcast has started. Shall I patch it through? Yes. yes. Thank you. The murders are believed to be linked to a new investigation where Drexler would have been accused of numerous violations, including murder for hire, unauthorized human trials, and corporate theft. Authorities representing the UC and the Freestar Collective have been dispatched to a consolidated mining station and the clinic. Both locations are believed to hold numerous victims. Drexler's motivation appears to be an attempt to launch a new product based off stolen information from a competitor. The details on the project itself and the competitor have yet to be confirmed. This has been David Barron for SSNN. Perfect. This exposure puts Infinity right where we want them. The meeting will begin momentarily, but I want you to discuss the options we have with the other members. Infinity's net worth is about to hit rock bottom. So this gives us the opportunity <laughs> to win a little more public faith.
Quite right. The truth is, we'll be making evaluations. We'll shed any employees who don't make the cut, slowly but surely. By incorporating Infinity, we eliminate a competitor, get their best employees and contracts, and all while boosting our public perception. Shed any employees? Oh, terminology like that, where you reference manipulating people's lives. Oh, it makes my skin crawl. This is how the corporate world works, though. We've already done some initial evaluations, so I'm certain of it. Infinity has a lot of appeal being in New Atlantis. I'm sure plenty of brilliant minds are there because they prefer the location. Plus, there's always that handful of people that think they've got something to prove by not working for Ryujin. As if other corporations are really any better. <coughs> I'm glad mm -hmm. we're on the same page. Which is why I'd like you to talk to the board to convince them this is the right move. There are several who might disagree, and you have the perfect tool to help sway them. Fine. Whether or not you use the internal NeuroAmp is up to you. But I still want results. You'll find most of the board members in their offices preparing. Vina is also here, waiting for the meeting to start. We'll need at least 50% of the vote to go our way. In the event of a tie, I will make the final decision. I trust you'll get it done. So we need to talk to all of them. Don't cause any trouble. I don't trust her one bit. Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. You can make light of the situation, but my stance won't change. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Oh? Your response tells me Masako must have given you similar advice. It'd be unlike her to not fully <coughs> exploit an advantage. Especially when she believes acquiring Infinity is the right thing to do. Hmm. I'll do it to well, her. Well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As I'll do it as to her. As long as has Ryujin's best interests in mind, this should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Please. Ryujin's best interests are long-term success and growing profits. The internal neuroamp provides both. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. You're looking interesting today. Just the person I wanted to see. <coughs> I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Uh, 
Saving the jobs of thousands is altruistic, which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. That is a plea more well spent on Genevieve or Alexis. I prefer to focus on the numbers and leave emotions out of my decision making. Perhaps I wanted to see if I could be convinced otherwise. It's easy to say it's the right thing to do for someone in your position. But for me, Infinity LTD is a huge financial unknown. It's high risk versus mediocre reward. <coughs> your disdain is noted. And perhaps you thought I'd care because you're hopeful. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? And why do you feel it was well handled? <laughs> Please note I'm not disagreeing. I just want to know the why behind your statement. Hmm. Being prepared for anything is a great asset, one that Masako excels at. I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's only dangerous to those who can't afford one. Hence the added motivation that will bolster sales. The guarantee depends on if we're willing to make the financial commitment to outfitting each employee with at least a shielding component. A cost that's not lost on me as CFO. It's possible. But with Alexis and Genevieve driving the restrictions and presentation of such a product, it's also highly unlikely. This has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. I doubt I'll get any of it without doing manipulation. If operation which... starts to bore you, let me know. You'd make a perfect lab rat for the R&D team. And how's my favorite patient doing? <coughs> Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. <sighs> That's great. I'd say Project Dominion is ready for legitimate human trials in that case. One step closer to seeing market approval. Genevieve is going to be so excited. So, tell me what you think of the Neuroam. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. Fine, fine. Make your case. Mm. There's always uh. something against something, no matter how innocuous. Even if the public did pitch a fit, there's always work to be found, especially when it comes to engineering. Believe it or not, Dang. I'm do due diligence here. The pros just <laughs> outweigh the cons. I hate to stop you, but I just can't be swayed on this. Besides, Masako, Alexis, Genevieve, they know how to handle this. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? That's what I'm hoping for. They may be the underdog, but that doesn't mean they don't have a brilliant mind or two. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. If only there were more hours in the day. <sighs> Great, the bane of my department. If you need something, make it quick. Not much to discuss there. I believe I've made my case quite clear to Masako on why I am against it. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. Have you been spending too much really? time, Linden? There's more to this than just credits.
I see what you're doing. And I suppose it's working. A little. <coughs> Why else do you think my department is so successful? Damn. I've heard enough. Too bad it wasn't as entertaining as I'd hoped. If you only had some real talent when it comes to convincing. <laughs> Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. I couldn't agree more. It should be completely banned from the settled systems. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako's lucky to have you at her disposal, even if you are a continual thorn in my side. You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. <coughs> this exchange has been surprisingly insightful, but now I really do need to get back to my notes. Well, I don't think we're going to get the nose on. This meeting should prove to be very interesting. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That blasted tech. Indeed. That technology shouldn't be used for such nefarious purposes. Or in fact, any purposes at all. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk. And look what happened. Mm-hmm. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. Oh, well, let me do that. <laughs> I'll blast her freaking brains out. <laughs> I'll blast her freaking brains out for you. Surgical wounds healing like a dream. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? Well, you can let <coughs> Masako know to rest easy. It just so happens that her agenda lines up with mine. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year. All right. I suppose you've earned the right to voice your opinion after everything you've done, qualified or not. So let's hear it. The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. Not when you word it like that. But a product that can settle disputes or help broaden someone's point of view? 
Then you really have something that consumers will buy into. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. Okay, let's get this meeting over with, shall we? <coughs> Wait for everyone else. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. <laughs> Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. <coughs> Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. My team is prepared to handle the influx. We're more than happy to rid ourselves of a rival. Arguments? Infinity LTD is an enormous unknown. The legal and financial risks are too great. I refuse to support the decision. Besides, I have enough to deal with now, as it is. I think what we're all <coughs> overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton, the last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogene was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. <laughs> I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And nope. allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? <laughs> I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office. And see that she stays put. You regret this. All of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right. Back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. All against? Nay. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? The internal neuroamp 
is a key component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next ten years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? Pay attention! Mm. Agreed. We all experienced the threat posed to this company firsthand. The security risks would be innumerable. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion? Aye. Aye. All against? Nay. We'll start up discussions on how to handle Project Dominion in the future. In the meantime, at least the only person to have one is our own operative. Internal NeuroAmp research will continue. The dangers have been noted. And don't worry, I'm certain between Alexis and Genevieve, any legal or moral issues will be taken care of by the time it goes to market. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. So much work to do. <laughs> so, Infinity LTD learned a lesson the hard way, and we exposed the traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. Mm-hmm. <coughs> it's well earned and deserved. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. Yes, I'm proud of you as well. Ularu needed to be brought down. If you wouldn't have stopped her, who knows what she would have done next. Uh huh. Not often, and certainly not to this degree. We have the occasional employee consider selling information, but thanks to our security and operations teams, we always catch them before any damage can be done. This was the first time anyone from either department was involved. I hope that enthusiasm sticks with you for the foreseeable future. <laughs> Imran's <coughs> instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. We should have a cool. talk. When you have the time, of course. Handling those tricky decisions regarding Ryujin must have been difficult. In fact, I'm amazed you were able to deal with them at all. Those types of corporations remind me why I never ventured into business. I can't stand that way of life. Really? It surprises me you'd say that. Take what Ryujin's doing, for example. Based on your recommendation, they'll be continuing their work on the NeuroAmp technology. And now you're going to stand there and pretend you find that type of decision to be disgusting. Please. You mean, other than the fact that it can turn a free-willed human being into a mindless automaton? For you to even ask me that question means you're completely blind to the implications of that horrid device. I don't know why it's given me these options. I wanted to stop it and it's like, oh no, no, no you didn't. When used properly, yes. But imagine that technology in the wrong hands. 
Imagine the awful things you could force people to do. It's almost too horrible to contemplate. Well, with any luck, perhaps Ryujin will come to its own senses one day and realize what they're doing is wrong. All we can do for now is pray that I'm right. Yeah, I didn't want them to keep it going either, but the only way to do that is to literally... Oh my god, we have all these quests. Holy crap on a cracker. Oh, I love this game so much. There's so much to do. <laughs> there is a ton to do. Oh my god. Uh, she said to... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, we can meet the super fan. Oh my goodness. Where's he at? Is that the super fan that you meet some is, that we were shown in the um it might be I hope it is honestly, I really do. They have a leak. <laughs> I'm gonna go talk to my boss, Emojine, and see what my new job do. No. Ops. I'm gonna go to Ops. Let's go say hi to my boss. My former boss, because now I'm my own boss. Because, yay! Hey, she's back! Hi! <laughs> You've certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day to day. It's nice to see your recent experiences haven't soured you on the company. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. The board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together, and I've approved. Questions? Mm. Nothing you aren't already familiar with. You experienced the majority of what we do here during your training, if you recall. Uploading mm. a few files, manipulating a narrative or two, obtaining schematics, that's just more of the same. No, but try to see that as an improvement, since I certainly do. The mission board is more efficient for both of us. <laughs> Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so what? whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. <laughs> oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. No, only within the tower. The security risk would be far too much to allow access to that data in a public space. You certainly will. Go check out the board. And if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy just for you. Examine the board. So we got our own office, dude. Into any restricted areas. That's not it. Where's it at? It's right here. Oh, this is not very far from her at all. Okay, let's be. <laughs> it's a new Beowulf. <laughs> Tombstone. Oh man, thanks for the new Beowulf. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Um, hold on. How how does that compare to what I have now? That oh that's oh and it's burst fire. Ew. Oh dude, no way. More damage every hit. That one is better by far. I would get rid of burst fire and make it automatic. Oh man. Oh my god, that is so good. <laughs> I'll put on the long barrel as well. Oh man. Yeah, this one's better. Even even if I do take off the burst fire and put on fully automatic, it'll knock it back down to what the one I have now is for damage. But the Furious will counteract that. Because each consecutive hit is more damage. And if an armor piercing rounds might also be adding more damage as well. So what mod does it not have? It doesn't have the tactical magazine equipped. <clears throat> this one's better. Yeah, this one is better. I could give this one to her. Oh, yeah. Actually, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Hey, come here. <laughs> so I can only access these ones. Plant an arc device. As usual, don't get caught. I've already done that one. Okay, so those ones don't really pay out more than I thought they would, but... I mean... It sucks that I can't access my computer, though. <laughs> Thanks for the new gun, though. Oh, man. Hey, I got a new gun for you that I want you to have. Have something for me? I'm taking that back, and I want to give you a new one. <laughs> and there you go. Now, does she have any rounds? I don't think she does. I'll take all those back, too. And then I need to give her 7, 7, 7, seven millimeter. And I will give her one. Just all she needs is one. Admiral Logan's office shouldn't be terribly far. Cool. Let's, Let's talk somewhere more private. All right, and with that, I am going to put a save and a cut in the video. If you guys enjoyed the Ryujin storyline, I know I did. Yes, I might have screwed up on the last one, but you know what? I don't give a crap. It's just a game. Who cares? Anyways, feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more, and I will see all of you next time. Have a wonderful day.